started fighting amateur, my goal was to get pro fights. So I was ready and I wasn't nervous. I was in the best shape. Just got out there, <laughs> didn't get hit once. The second fight, uh, same thing. Training went perfect, tons of sparring uh, down in LA, great sparring, and uh, didn't get hit again, <laughs> which went well. Uh, he tried to brawl with me, which wasn't a, a very good idea. Uh, I was hoping he'd try to box, but he made the mistake of brawling, and that's my uh, forte. I'm going to bring the most exciting fights I possibly can, and I'm in there to make sure that the fans enjoy what they watch. Because I've been to fights where <laughs> I was royally pissed off, and if I'm going to pay my money, I want a good fight. And I think about the fans while I'm in there, I, what they want to see. And people tell me that's the wrong perspective, but I don't care, because I think about when I was in those stands and I was bored out of my mind. You always have to adapt. If you can't adapt in this sport, you're not going anywhere. And um, yeah, I, I mean, my trainer, Jesse Reeds, had tons of fights, tons of champions. So. He can pick up things that most people can't, and every day we do something new. And he teaching me not only how to box, but to brawl, how to move my movement, everything. Well, I mean, I, I think in boxing you do take more damage just because it's repeated blows, like you were saying. Whereas UFC, it's one big blow that just puts you to sleep. And I mean, there's definitely that risk, but we gotta take it. You know, we love it. worry about being a contender or anything like that. I want a world championship and that's why I'm doing this. And I have my mind set on that goal. World championship. That's all I want.